Hey guys, welcome. I need you guys to listen to some music. All right, and just relax for a moment. Get your dance on, okay? And um, 
you know, I am a doula. I'm a doula. And a doula is uh, a trained professional who provides emotional, physical, and informational support to expecting mothers. So really, to put it in a nutshell, we're a labor coach. We help um, the mother to have a positive birth experience. Our whole mission is, help, is to help the mother feel nurtured, comforted, and help her to protect her birthing experience, to help her to have a nurturing birth experience. I've worked with mothers who've had their first child to women who've had five and six children, and they still appreciated having a doula by them side, their side. I had one mom who had five children, and she told me she wished she, she, if she knew this, she wished she would have had a doula for every birth, every child that she had. So, historically, women helped women give birth to their babies. And as things change, as the generations and you know things and all these different things happen, um, you know you see women having their baby in the hospital by themselves because they don't have the support. And having a doula does not take away from your partner. We actually help you and support your partner as well. And so. Yes, it's so. There's so many benefits to having a doula. We go over that in the workshop, and there's also you can Google and see how many the benefits of having a doula. You know, um, so if you and really, um, I've been a doula for the last several years, um, but I would say three years ago, um, I remember this uh, young lady found me on this site. And there was many requests last year. I decided to say yes to the call. I decided that this must be a calling after like you know really kind of figuring out why am I being asked so much so much and when I took time to think about it and really just meditate on it um it just came to me that maybe this is a divine call and I'm being called to actually offer these workshops and so I, I literally have clients um coming and you know I'm grateful for each every one of them because also the beautiful sisters that come to me they have also awesome services that they can um that they, they they can and continue to offer people in their community. So, um, Happy's Lounge came from <laughs> me, you know, just knowing that being in the work, being at, at the work in the work field and in the pet, at work and hearing other people. A couple of years ago, when I was at work and a couple of other coworkers were complaining and upset and they didn't want to be there anymore, discuss ways to progress and to push past the fears, the doubts. And actually create, pr produce results. And hence, later on, Ebby's Lounge became a coaching practice for women who felt s stuck. They felt like, uh, you know, that they, they, their gifts were sitting there, laying dormant, and their vision was, things that they had in their mind was laying dormant, and they wasn't really, they kind of an idea what they want to do, but they wasn't doing anything about it. I, would, I really just want to encourage those women to get clear about what they really want, to get unstuck, push past the fears and the barriers, and we discussed it to figure out what was holding them back, you know, and to begin to pursue and, and create strategies and practical steps that they can take to actually gain results. And a lot of my clients, um, some went back to school, some actually got a job within six weeks. Well, a lot have got a job within six weeks. I've had another sister who, um, you got more clear, identified her, her ideal clients, and realized that you know the clientele that she was working with wasn't her ideal clients. So, um, things like that. So, I've had the opportunity to really, and I just enjoy helping people. And I have people on my team who enjoy helping people. We have wellness coaches. You know, my sister who's an engagement coach. Um, you know, it's awesome. I mean, so we have some beautiful sisters that you can connect with, and I can also direct you to. But. Um, so those of you who are interested in the doula workshops, um, again, it's a beautiful thing when you can actually help a mother give birth to her baby. We are there by her side the entire time. So we, as a, as a doula, you will actually be there during labor and up until about hour, two hours, up to an hour two or two until she has the baby. And you can also assist her with initial breastfeeding. And then you also um, offer one to two postpartum or could be more postpartum visits to make sure she's fine if she needs assist with, assistance with uh, breastfeeding or you know um, in, in just general um, care and assistance and also some resources information and just to follow up to see how everything is going and so um, our birth doula workshops are back on again and I meet virtually with you and um, I just love the sisters that I that, that I get a chance to connect with and 
Yes, yes, yes. So if you have any questions about that, you're interested, go on the website, and you're also welcome to email me. And yes, so thank you. And also, the reason why I decided to offer the workshop, not only because it was a divine calling, I look at it as like this. There are women out there that you are called to help and meant to help. And maybe you might be holding yourself back because maybe you want to be a doula, but you're not quite sure exactly what doulas do. And doulas and midwives are not the same. Some people think they are. They're not the same. So we do talk about the role of the doulas and the roles that doulas don't um, play. And really, both, both ways where our goal is to help the mother have a successful birth experience. And we mainly focus on the emotional side and the physical support that um, we offer to those beautiful women who are having their babies. So, yes, so that's what I wanted to share with you today, guys. And so, yes, so once in a while you will see me vlogging because that's just what I love to do. Also, you know, I will also be inviting guests. I will also be inviting guests as well. Oh, let me see if I can show you guys. Maybe I'm like, this is, this is, maybe I can show you guys this beautiful, this is swollen down, so maybe you guys get to see it. <laughs> this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, picture. I love it. I had it for so many years, and I just love it. But anyway, okay. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm supposed to show you guys again, you know? Let's, let's look at it. The beauty of motherhood you know the beauty of motherhood the beauty of nurturing our children and caring for our children and loving our children you know we need the men you know this does not exclude the love and the support and the caring and the financial support the emotional support the spiritual support that we need from our men because we cannot do this without you <laughs> we cannot have this child without you so we give thanks to the men and men who are watching, we give thanks to you. So maybe this is why it fell. I couldn't remember what I had to say, but I had to, I guess, you know, because balance, balance is important. So when it comes to um, talking about the woman, we have to also remember the man, right? So, all right, I give thanks for that, to remember our men as well and give thanks to our men. And the children, we have to continue to love our children, inspire them, nurture them. And you know what, while I'm talking about children, let me quickly show you some of the things. Let me show you something. My daughter, who's an artist, this is something that she created. And my daughter makes flyers, she makes, um, you know, she makes mugs, she has created um, journals. When we do what we love, we inspire our children. When we do what we love, we can love our men. Okay, so this changed around. This whole thing changed around for a moment because it's about balance, ma'at, and creating that balance. Mother, father, child, and respecting and loving one another and understanding each other and supporting each other. Also, this is another book, a workbook that I created for kids um, that I might, I might eventually... Um, share this later on, but I create this for, a workbook for kids that my daughter, my daughter actually created the cover of the uh, workbook. So I encourage her as well at a young age to utilize her gifts. And she's a certified graphic designer as well. And um, this workbook was to help children help identify their gifts, skills, and talents, and you know, just kind of overcome barriers, just to help them understand what it is that they're good at. It's a workbook. And so that's all I got to share for you guys today. 